Welcome back to Rob's Quads, guys. In today's video, we spent nearly a thousand dollars buying exotic aquarium fish for the Planted Monster Fish Aquarium. But before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. Let's get right into the video. So in today's video, guys, in just a couple seconds, we're going to be picking up the shipment of fish that we got. Some really cool monster predatory fish for the 150 gallon planet tank and some other tanks. But before we go pick up the package, I wanted to show you guys an update on the 150 gallon tank. If you have been subscribed, then you know we just successfully beat an ick outbreak. Could have been some other white spot disease, but regardless, we kicked it in the and destroyed it. So now all the Tomensis peacock bass, everything in the tank is looking incredible. You can see everybody is looking great. We got the gang of Oscars in here. These are all wild caught from the trapping and netting videos, as well as this green terror down here. He's showing incredible color, but everybody regardless is absolutely loving the aquascape we have done in this tank. I'm most excited about this cichlid right here and the Tomensis peacock bass to grow out. Also, the hybrid tiger shovel nose has been eating like a champion. And also, guys, the rip saw is still in the tank. The fire eel is still in the tank. Everybody is doing incredible. And the fish we're getting today are only going to complement the fish we currently have. And we're also going to be doing a sneaky little trade after we buy these fish for this aquarium. But before we do get those fish, I wanted to do a feeding of the aquarium and give you guys just that quick little update so you guys can see how they're doing. And then we're gonna go to my other friend Joey, he's not Joey Slam, Joey the other Joey to pick up the fish. So as of right now, uh, the rip saw, the Cory cats ha have been just like knocking up all these plants. These plants are absolutely gorgeous, but they've been just knocking them all up. Regardless though, we're going to be able to do a feeding and these guys are absolutely explosive. I mean, they love to eat. And I've just been feeding them chopped tilapia because it's just easiest thing to repair and they absolutely love it the ostrich getting in the peacock bass getting in and a lot of the food will actually escape into the scape and be available to the other catfish in this aquarium and the fire eel that he'll be able to sneak around and eat some food as well so the 150 gallon planet tank is genuinely incredible i'm super in love with the way the scape has came out and all that stuff I really wish we had some sort of fish in this top water column. But as you guys know, if you've been subscribed to the channel, we actually had my my arowana jump out of the tank. And so I'm not really trying to take that risk again unless we do something about these lids because there's just way too much space for an arowana. He popped straight through that glass top. But with all that out of the way, that update on the 150 gallon monster aquarium, I'm going to go with you guys to pick up the new shipment of fish we just bought. Also, I'll throw you guys a quick little update on the Axolotl Army. We haven't had too many casualties. I still do see two bodies right there, but a lot of the baby axolotls are still alive and doing well. They're actually eating right now. I don't know if we'll be able to see any of them eat, but overall, I'm pretty happy with how these guys are doing. You could see one baby right there, kind of just aimlessly floating, but he's also still alive. So everybody's looking good. Everybody's doing great. All right, guys, so. <laughs> Wait, yeah, 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 I got yeah, you, yeah. I got you, I got you, I got you. It's Christmas here. Yeah, Christmas came a little late, but it is every bit worth what we paid for these Azul Peacock Bass. These fish are every bit of five inches. Look at the packaging. The water is there. Everything's back different. Oh, they're big. <laughs> yeah, they're big, bro. They're oh, way bigger than the town. God, they're so much bigger than I thought. Dude, they're every bit of oh, five. Dude, they could even go in the pond. What? <laughs> yeah. They're pond size. Like actually. Yeah. Oh, this is so much fun. How exciting. So five peas are gonna go in that big old tank. So yeah. we make sure none of your- I didn't even show the tank yet. I'll show them the tank oh, okay. now. You, you, yeah, I'll just show them. I'm in the, it's in the works. Turn on the lights. Show yeah. So this right here is the 150 tank we're gonna use to grow out some monster. Joey's currently taking down death row. The old praying man or peacock mantis shrimp set up. Ninja's gone, all that's gone, and we're going to put some monster fish tanks here to grow out some monster fish, and we're starting off with these Azuls. Now, the game plan was we we're going to put three in here. Then me and Joey would have traded one Azul for 110. That offer still stands, but as of right now, my Tementis Peacock Bass would get smoked by these Azuls. <laughs> They'll get ab abused, but they're beautiful. Yeah, these fish. guys are gorgeous. So we're going to get them acclimated. So Joey's going to be in charge of setting up the tank and getting these Azuls into the tank. But after that, guys, we'll do an update when I'm back here. All right, sounds good. I mean, yeah. I'm really excited because it's going to be like kind of just growing out all these monsters, having fun. I'm relocating everybody to different parts of the room. 
everyone's still doing all right. So that's gonna be great. These are big, dude. Yeah, those are jewels. These are, are big. For what we got them for, insane deal. Oh, that's a good shot. I like it. Yep. My God, like, look at this. <laughs> yeah. This is so sick, dude. Yeah. Awesome. Alright guys, so I'm now back in the fish room and as you can see, Joey did a number in here. He's been going crazy. Setting this tank up while I've been gone, but it is not all good news because the tement because the bass are now acclimating, right? But during this acclimation process, we realized there is more than likely a leak in this tank. And that is mainly because it's super strange, but right here along the entire trim of this tank, there's water. So that is already a red flag, but Typically when a tank is leaking like from the bottom or anywhere above here and you have styrofoam under the tank, you can pull this down and water will fall off. That's not happening. So realistically, we're not entirely sure what is actually happening with this 150 gallon aquarium, but do not worry. We've got a couple of alternative solutions for this monster fish tank. We've got a 180 that we're going to be setting up shortly right here. And then also worst comes to worst, I've got a couple 150 gallon tanks outside that we could lay down, throw a sponge filter and aeration on and use to hold the peacock bass while we get this tank situated. So what we're gonna do right now is guys, I'm gonna get all these peacock bass out of this tank, out of the bag, into a bucket because they finished acclimating and they're ready to be added into the tank. So we're going to get them out of the bags and do so. The absolute worst case scenario would be adding them into the 150 gallon fish tank. But as you can see, these peas are significantly smaller than the Azul's. So if we were to do that, they more than likely would end up as a snack for those Azul peacock bass. So for the time being, we're going to put them in the 150 just so they're out of the bags, just so they could get a little bit more comfortable as we try to navigate this trouble. And also guys, I have incredible news. So pretty soon, I'm going to be getting like an iron stand or a wooden cabinet stand for my 300 gallon aquarium that has been sitting in the garage right here. So pretty soon we're going to get this monster fish aquarium, the six by three by three foot, well, 27 inches, but three foot was easier to say, set up and then we're going to bring that tank and sit it right on this wall and it'll be like a display in this main room. Also got some predator monster fish. For my 65 gallon saltwater tank, completely revamping that. But with all those updates out of the way, guys, we're now going to get these peacock bass into the tank. We're gonna get them out of the bags. They've been acclimating for nearly an hour now, and we're gonna get them in this. All right, guys, so I was originally going to actually, God, these are tough, man. I was gonna actually load them get them in a bucket and then add them in the tank but i think i'm just gonna manhandle them a little bit and we're gonna get all these guys into a tank but before i do you guys can see just how gorgeous these peacock bass are these guys look incredible definitely too big to be going with my current fish so we're going to get these guys into a tank so the first azul pea right here all right so i got the bass and now he's in the tank he's chilling right there he should do just fine in this 150 gallon aquarium for the time being he definitely stressed himself out a lot in the bag just now but he should do just fine in this tank all right he's back up in action we're gonna grab this next bag we got the next bass and honestly guys, I'm thinking about it now. I might add one of the small, they're not that much bigger than my Tementis. Out of the bag, they're not as big as I thought they were. So I might still add one in with my current fish. Let's see here. You know what guys? We're gonna put two aside and put them with my Tementis. Because they're actually not that much bigger. It's just the bag kind of has like an amplifying effect. So I'm going to get out the smallest ones and we're going to move those into my 150 gallon aquarium. All right guys, so I actually changed my mind. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to catch out these peacock bass and add them into this tank. Because I was thinking about it, we just saved my Tometsis peacock bass from that deadly ick. And I really think we should quarantine these guys before I add them into my tank. So we're going to throw them in here and let them chillax we'll get the tank situation situated. It's currently got a cycled FX6 on it. So this should work for the time being. We're just gonna let it be. 
And for the time being, we're just gonna get these little guys in there. Because also the other fish in the tank would stress them out and all that. So I don't wanna risk that happening. Next little pea, you can see him right here. Gorgeous little fish. We're just gonna add him into the tank. He's looking better than the last one, that's for damn sure. <clears throat> Next one up. These guys are still super active even after being shipped and they look incredible. You guys will get to see them in just a second, but right now we're just adding them all into the tank. This one's getting cut open. This is being super difficult. Second to last P in the tank. This one, he's big enough to go with my Tomensis Peacock Bass, honestly. We'll leave them in here for the time being just to give them a few days so I can check to see what they got, if anything at all. But he could go with our Tomensis Peacock Bass ASAP. So actually, I'm gonna catch it back out. Oh no, but I shouldn't. You know, I'm not going to. We're gonna leave it be, all right? We're gonna leave it be, let him quarantine. Because this guy down here is also small enough to go with my Timensis Peacock Bass. So difficult, man. It's so difficult to quarantine. I love being able to just throw my fish right in with the others. But regardless, after we get these guys in the tank, we're gonna let them settle for a little bit. And I'll come back and give you guys an update on them when they're all Gucci Berry. The last Azul of the bunch right here. And he's in the tank. Look at, this one could go with our boys too. Okay, that's cool. So we got two smaller Timensis, or two smaller Azul Peacock Bass that already could go with my Timensis, and then the rest are a little bit too big. Genuinely though, push comes to shove, we could potentially put all of these bass with the ones I currently have. Yeah, they're around the same size. That's great. And just like that, guys, the Azul Peacock Bass are now in the 150 gallon aquarium. They all look super, super healthy. We're gonna get the lids back on the tank just in case they decide to jump but you can see one of the zools right here he's showing a little bit of color they're never going to look their best in this tank if you guys want to see a feeding of the Tomensis peacock bass and an update on the leaky situation make sure you like the video subscribe channel and turn on post notifications catch you guys in the next one deuces